Hey guys, Mike here. In this video, I'm going to teach you one simple trick you can do to instantly become better than 90% of all hunters in Monster Hunter. All right, for your next hunt, what you're gonna do is you're not going to press the attack button if you are unsure if you can hit the next attack. So monster attacks, you get your first hit in, and if you're playing a fast weapon, typically you'll go for two, three, four, five, even more hits, right? Well, I'm saying force yourself to stop after say the second hit. So if you're unsure that you can get the third hit in, just stop at the second hit. So if this is a three second punisher, just do this, turn it into a 1.5 punisher. And then after you do your 1.5, then just do nothing. Just stand there and look at the monster. That's all you're gonna do. All right, so all of these are gonna go like this. They're, you're basically shortening them, right? You're being really conservative when you fight. But say there's a larger opening and you're very confident the monster is not gonna do anything in this recovery period. So then you can extend this to a three second. That's the only time you're allowed to do it because like I said, the rule is you're only allowed to press the attack button and extend your attack if you're 100% confident you're going to land the hit. This also applies to the physical dimension as well, right? It's one thing to be unsure if you're gonna have enough time, but you can also be unsure if just the geometry of the swing will even hit the monster. So if you're also unsure if the actual swing is going to hit, you are not allowed to press the attack button. A very common example, Sword and Shield, Round Slash is a, is a very low, vertical slice but if i see the monster's head is kind of a little too high that is a case where i have doubt that my round slash is going to hit so in that case i would not press the round slash attack anytime there's any doubt that from a timing or spatial perspective that you're going to miss and whiff that attack don't press the attack button just try that so you can you can pause the video here go try that out and come back here and i'm going to explain why this works the first reason is that it forces you to watch the monster more and see what the monster's doing. And the developers of Monster Hunter put a lot of effort into how the monster moves. And it's your job as a hunter to identify all the little subtle cues that the monster does. This could be recovery frames, startup frames, non-enraged versus enraged animations, idle animations. Another way to think about it is you are playing Steve Irwin, the crocodile hunter, and you're just kind of watching the monster. That's all you're doing is watching the monster. You're watching how it behaves, how it moves, exactly like an ecologist. It's going to greatly accelerate your ability to read the monster. The second benefit of this training method is that it's going to allow you to become more efficient with your movement. Whiffing or missing a monster is the most inefficient thing that you can do when fighting a monster. So if you just force yourself to not attack, there's so much more things you can do. You can start moving, you can start repositioning, you can start IDing where the safe spots are in preparation for the next monster attack. You can start shaving, you can use items, you can use environmental traps like spore puffs, rocks above the head, gets pick up slinger ammo, sharpen, or even find clutch claw grappling opportunities. And this is the thing that separates a really experienced and good hunter from your newbie. So just try this out. Let me know what you think in the comments and thanks for watching.